TV Talk with your second favorite dynamic duo. I'm Tim. And I'm Tony. And on this week's episode, we will be discussing television shows from April 1st to April 6th. Along with everything else happening on the silver screen. How's your TV week? It was good. I finished up Batman the Animated Series. Nice. Just volume three. Uh, so I'll slowly work on four. Yeah. I think I'm going to start. It, it rehashes a lot. A lot of characters come back. Yeah. Um, mostly and they're all Scarface. Really? He plays them. <laughs> He's in a couple episodes. Yeah, I think there's only 24 episodes yeah. in the fourth one. I think... They were all 28, except for the last one was 29. Yeah, I think they... they Because there was 85 total. Yeah. And then uh, for me, I've yeah. been slowly chugging away at Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nine. Nine. I don't know why I'm doing that instead of uh, <laughs> watching new, uh, new stuff. But I'm on season 2, episode 18. Captain Peralta is the episode. Oh, with his dad? I, possibly. <laughs> yeah, that's his, that's his dad. <laughs> Uh, so that that should be I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, they've all been pretty good. Yeah, yeah the the last episode was um, the wedding between Boyle's dad and Gene's mom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it only gets better, <laughs> which is good news. <laughs> yeah, let's jump right into our first segment. First up on the docket. <clears throat> uh, Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, and Black Knight Gaming all got signed on for another season. So they were all so that's renewed. Season 7 for Arrow, Season 5, five. for Flash, yeah. 4 Legends, 3 Supergirl. Right? Yeah, 3 yeah. Supergirl and 2 Black Lightning. Wow. Or no, 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 4 Supergirl. No, so same as Legends. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, it started on CW a year it's already been, after. It's already been two years on CW? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I am way behind. I am way behind. <laughs> <You're getting far. laughs> oh, man. And plot twists for Arrow that will be all their contracts will be up. <laughs> well, that's true, and a lot of characters are already leaving. Yeah. Uh, it's good that they're all getting renewed. Yeah, and for Legends, so now we we have uh, Constantine as regular on four, and yeah. also now Ava signed on as a uh, series four. regular. Series regular. So that'll be good. Probably delve more into the her story, yeah. and her and Sarah, and Constantine in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and Gary. Should be interesting. And then this upcoming Flash episode is the one that Kevin Smith directed. Oh, the one that's going to star him and Jason Mewes. Yeah, as security guys. Security guy. A scene. So that, I and then it, I think they said uh, one character doesn't have any lines. <laughs> yeah. <which he's> gonna, <laughs> he said they, they're not necessarily playing, playing Jane, Silent and Bob. But yeah, but that's how, it, that's, how it, yeah, <laughs> that's how it shakes out. <laughs> Uh, then uh, the Bad Boys spinoff uh, that's going to be on NBC started filming uh, starring uh, Gabrielle Union and Jessica Alba didn't know what Jessica Alba would have been in no and so she's playing this. Uh, Gabrielle Union's playing the same character her character from, from Bad Boys to, yeah Martin Lawrence the brother. soundtrack so we should be seeing him maybe I because I think they They've been throwing around the third movie, or third movie for a while. Third one, and then lately they were like, "Oh yeah, we're doing it." And then something came out. They're like, "Maybe we're not. Gonna, <laughs> maybe maybe so we'll." This does, I'm guessing if this does well, that yeah, then the better shot of three. Yeah, and then Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum want an animated Smallville show, 
this would be of, awesome. Yeah. I need I they had the comic books after. They had like the one or the one year of comic book, yeah. or the one season. Yeah, like of comic comics. books where he's actually Superman. So I wonder if they would have that or uh it would probably either continue extend off on of that. that. Or start to do sense. its own story afterwards. Yeah. Because I'm guessing, I mean, not a ton of people read those. So you no, think I don't that think they, they would do like. I don't think it was super what, successful, yeah. What, what's it been? Eight years? Eight years later, they could do. Which is still unbelievable to me. That <laughs> it was, or set, it was to 2011. 2011 when it ended? Or, yeah, it 2011 it ended, and then Arrow started 2012. 12. Which I did not realize it was that <laughs> close. <laughs> Every time I see that, I'm like, oh my god, it was only a year? Yeah, I think it was, he was like, yeah, or Michael Rosenbaum was like, yeah, it'd be nice to record something. He's like, then we don't have to look that good, or <laughs> or someone might not have to shave their head for the role. <laughs> yeah, they, they they appeared at uh, Washington, yeah. I think, was the Comic-Con they were at. Um, not really movie, or TV news, but uh, Spiral of Dragon... Is getting the first three games remastered. It will be released September twenty first. Yeah, I might actually play them because I never, I didn't you have, a, I didn't have I play, a PS one. So. I'm pretty sure I played. I know I played the first two. I'm, if, I'm sure that if I started playing it again, I'd remember mm-hmm. playing. Pick it up, pick, remember everything, yeah, pick it all back up. It's also gonna be on Xbox, so I could get it. Which is perfect. <laughs> so you don't have to buy a PS four just don't for have, it. Yeah, which I'm still probably gonna have to do. But you probably should. God of War is coming out in like oh, eleven days. Yeah, I'll rent your PS4 from you. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> and then uh, Jay and Silent Bob VR game is coming out with Kevin Smith writing it, um, writing, directing, and producing the series. Yeah, you're gonna be Silent Bob in the game, which makes total <laughs> sense. Like, all right, who are we gonna get to play? Oh, the one that person that you can't talk to. In yeah. The game. <laughs> Uh, we also got our first look at Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes on The Flash uh, as the security guards. Yeah. yeah I can't really I read the... the first time uh, Kevin Smith wore pants in a very long time, he said. Yeah. He usually wears jorts. His, his long jorts. <laughs> and then Fahrenheit 451 gets another trailer with Michael B. Jordan and Michael Shannon, which I didn't... I haven't seen they, the first one was just like a teaser. Teaser trailer. Yeah, this was like the full where we got the plot and you got to see more of what's going on. And looks crazy. It's gonna be on HBO. So ooh, an HBO. Yeah, I might just have to get just an HBO <laughs> just, just to watch there's, everything. There's at least two shows already: <laughs> Game of Thrones one and Westworld. And I yeah. have to watch all the way through. <laughs> Let alone all the other Sopranos. I think is on HBO. Yeah, I have to watch watch through all of that just to. Watch through Entourage for like the eighth time. <laughs> <laughs> so good. And now it's time for some TV talk. Where Supergirl is still on break, but it should be. It's now going to be. Next week, next, next Monday. Week we'll be, no, we won't be talking about it next week, though. No, we won't. <laughs> it, uh, two episode <laughs> airs next week. We'll talk two weeks. We'll, we'll, be. we'll be talking about it. Yeah. And then Flash is also still on break. Return. This returns for next episode. For we'll the be, next episode, we'll, we'll have be, it. Yeah. We'll be talking about it. And um, we got Legends of Tomorrow. Right, this week, uh, the title of the episode, guest starring John Noble. <laughs> In the little summary, the Legends must fix two anachronisms at the same time to keep uh, Malice at bay and f- and form an uneasy alliance with one of their enemies. I keep thinking of the episode that we just watched. Yeah, we, little side note, we did just watch the season finale, but we'll only stick to... The we'll only of, stick to uh, the last week's episode. We will tell you, though, that it is pronounced... Ma- malice. malice, malice, not malice, not or phallus, or phallus. <laughs> this is what we learned in this last episode. 
Um, all right. But so this one starts with uh, Grad wrecking havoc. Make uh, what is it? Make America Grad, grad again. again. He even says it <laughs> in it uh, as he's uh, <laughs> kidnapping uh, Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. Barry. Barry. <laughs> And Which I uh, thought was an interesting choice. Yeah, Ray runs up. Run, Barry, run! <laughs> <laughs> was great. Um, I loved when uh, Sarah's... What is, I forgot what they, they called her... What is it? Her inter, introductions to where they're going. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I forget. The one episode is like, oh, a little more pizzazz, pizzazz usually. Set their superhero send-offs yeah. or something like that. Uh, but she's like, uh, we're, it looks like we're on Obamacare. <laughs> they just walk out. Um, and then Sarah's whole uh, I she think calls was, him she, she calls, calls him Barack, Barack and then he goes uh, oh you can call me Barry and he's like I, I like Barack and then Obama goes yeah that's what it says on my birth certificate and Sarah says you may want to <laughs> hang out with that <laughs> Which for as overt this episode was I'm surprised we didn't see a official tweet from anyone oh, for, referencing yeah. anything uh, I'm sure it's too too super oif to watch the show yeah <laughs> uh, then we get uh, Dark switching sides to save Nora actually which was pretty funny like uh, when they kept, when, I think they didn't even capture him he kind of just joins them yeah he, he, he <laughs> like went over there he's yeah. like you know, didn't he like bust out of the ship or like work he, to the uh, ship no I thought he shows doesn't he show up when they're saving Barack Oh yeah, and he's like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna take work with me, you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna work with you guys because they oh, shrink doesn't say, like instantly. Doesn't he say like, take me to your leader or like, I come in peace? Is that I think he this? says like, come in peace. He, yeah. I think he used like something that like typical alien line or whatever. Yeah, too. and they're trying to use the Constantine spell to contain him. And he's like, <laughs> he's, just give me the. He he's like, the, he's like the that was upside around. down. She goes, yeah. don't don't tell me about my. <laughs> yeah, he that just was goes good. Zoom and ships <laughs> it. Um. Oh, and then we get uh, been following the Amaya and Nate storyline of her. I'm glad this is what your point is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, like, her trying to figure out how to save her family. So she finally gives up and is like, "All right, I'm going to save my." She decides my, grand, that, yeah. my uh, grandchildren and my daughter, and she. Uh, so it goes back to uh, Zimbeze in 1992, and they like, show her as an old person. It's like, why did you? Yeah, they, they put her in like the old. I would have been like, okay with seeing that, or <laughs> or just get someone new. <laughs> get get, an, get old, an older person. Get an older person to play. It, it just didn't make sense why they didn't do that. It didn't look. Great it didn't look great <laughs> at all. And like she was just over, overacting, and not overacting, but like. Trying to she was really trying old. to. I was. She trying was trying to, to her. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree with you for that. I mean, she didn't do a terrible job acting. It was just like no. I they couldn't. Were, they were really trying to hammer it home, though. But her just looking so old was ridiculous. That, that took everything out of it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I did like, and then we kind of jump it back and forth between uh, Sarah's like line of whether she should ha- help Dark. Right, her going back and forth. Huh? Yeah, and uh, she goes back to Barack Obama and asks, <laughs> asks him for advice. He, he does his like analysis or like, yeah. what he thinks of the situation. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> I, I like how they kind of sh- like sh- not shoehorned it, but like brought it brought it all, it all together. How yeah. Mick was watching Lord of the Rings, and then. Everyone's like in front of everyone, basically, and they're, they're all like asking talking for his, there. They're trying to like, or like, don't they say Nick turned it down or something? Yeah, yeah. He's like, like, no, or shut up. Like, I'm watching this. <laughs> and then they go. Um, him watching Lord of the Rings gives them the idea to uh, um, go use John Noble to record yeah. uh, him reading rewrites, who is the voice of Malus. Yeah. He's also <laughs> the one I forget his character in Lord of the Rings, but he's one of. You, you would know who it is. Um, but to hear that, and they're like, oh my god, that's perfect. Yeah. Then, uh, was it Ray? <laughs> yeah. He's like, who I'll wrote look. this crap? <laughs> he's like, oh, probably a good writer. Uh, Can you rewrite? And, like, it's like, come to the wave rider. <laughs> like, and stuff like that. And he's like, he's even like, what is this? <laughs> they're changing uh, uh, Tolkien? Like, what the hell? Oh, yeah. He's is like, it? oh, it was a studio, a studio yeah. request. He's like, oh, okay. Second time they've done, uh, 
Tolkien too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, they use that to uh, trap. Yeah, he goes, uh, Ray goes in her ear and plays <laughs> that, and then they use that to get her on the ship and trap her. Um, yeah, and then it looks like he's right in my ear. It was very loud. Yeah, <laughs> he's like turns it down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, then Mala starts to completely take her over, though. And then what they did, they devise a plan that they have all of the totems. They're like, all right, let's just actually save Zimbeze so that he comes out because that would change time. Right, then and we then we can beat him. We could beat him. And it works. I mean, it kind of works. And then. I mean, the plan made sense. It made sense, but then Dark was like. Never mind. I don't want. I don't want to let him at the, out at the last possible second. He's like, no. I don't want to let him out, and he lets Grodd loose through the village. Um, and we get to see uh, Ama- Maya's daughter fight yep. off Grodd, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Dark gets the death totem. I kind of skipped that one. Oh, no, yeah, that's uh, Nate gets the earth, and Ray gets water. Yes. Really Which random. Because they needed, they needed just someone to... Or they felt someone they could wield the... Be a totem bearer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I agree. When And uh, they let Malice out. And he looks pretty badass. Yeah, they did a good job on him. After all... Waiting 17 episodes. I was going to say, like a whole <laughs> season, basically. And finally getting to see him. It was, it was worth it. To, Instead of just a voice. Yeah. And uh, next... Uh, episode is the finale, and it takes place in the Wild West. Not the Wild Wild West, <laughs> but the Wild West. Yeah, and we get to see some of our favorites return, and that'll be the only little the little tidbit. nugget we'll give you. Yeah. But next up was Black Lightning. Episode Black Jesus, the Book of Crucifixion. As suspicions grow that Jefferson Pierce is Black Lightning, the ASA arranges to have him arrested. Lynn seeks help from Detective Henderson. Meanwhile, with Jefferson in custody, Gamby and Anissa work together to show Black Lightning is still running around the streets of Freeland. This was a good one. This what I did not see it. All I know of it was from what they told us at the panel. <laughs> at the panel. But from reading what you did, t- they nailed it. Yeah. Much. Uh, yeah, it starts off with uh, good fight scene. This one's been, they've been doing good on their fight scenes. Especially because yeah. they got to do a lot of uh, special effects during the, like when he punches I was just saying, things. He, he's and, mostly all, like, yeah. all his moves all are his special moves effects. Are, yeah, so they do a good job with the fight scenes. And not um, just him, too. Like, if it's more than him, everyone else has a power, yeah. too. So it's like they got so much to do. Um, and, and, like, even in the panel, someone brought it up, like, the music in the background during the fight scenes has been yeah. great. And this, especially this this episode in particular, like, every really, once in a while, but this one, they nail it. Um, it really comes through. Yeah. So, uh, we found out last week that the vice principal is actually the spotter, so pretty much can be now. Yeah. Um, and she pays the cops off to frame Jefferson uh, for selling drugs. It was like a really yeah. out of character thing to, to do. You mean the one guy who's been fighting to protect him? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That there was. They so they the cops show up at the school while he's teaching a class. I was just saying, and then I just from what he said at the panel, I could kind of picture how. Yeah, and so like there. the one kid's like, "Oh, Mr. Jefferson, isn't that uh, isn't that your car? Or Mr. Uh, Pierce, isn't that your car?" And he's like, "Yeah," and like the cops are all searching it, and we get to see it from that point of view. And then. Like, his daughter is in class, and she's watching, so we see her point of view from that. And then, like, you see the cop, like, open the trunk and drop a whole giant bag of drugs in. <laughs> it was, oh, like, well, overkill on the drugs. Oh, what is this? <laughs> yeah. He literally opens up, like, the back of the trunk, like, it got, like, one of those floors. Yeah. He pr- puts it in, and he walks around the car and comes back and goes, oh, look what I found. <laughs> it was really oh, ridiculous, shit. but... Of course. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, this was another time that the music was really good during this whole scene. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and both times. So then Jennifer runs up to her dad, and like her hands like clench. She's, she's like, about to go off, and he's like, "Calm down!" Like that, that, that uh, Man of Steel moment. Yeah, he's like, 
No. <laughs> no. Even uh, though we could have been in and out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then uh, Anissa, like, he's like about to go in the cop car. And, uh, and, uh, what she, she does like her breathing where she like inhales. Like, and he's like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, had, he like really stopped her. And, like, uh, like she the cop tries to like push her away and like can't or whatever <laughs> she can't move. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Him like trying to stop both of them from breaking him out. Yeah, yeah. Him not to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and then also like Henderson, Henderson is, finds out that's, the, that's his buddy. Okay, the cop that he was helping in the last. Yeah, time. Okay. Uh, is kind of suspicious of the cop that arrested him. Like, kind of questioning him. Like, where'd you get all this stuff? Right. Where'd you find the drug? Like stuff <laughs> like that. And so he finally gets in an interrogation room with him. And he, like, gets real close to him. He's like, we're being recorded right now. <laughs> and, like, goes and asks, like, like normal questions. And he's kind of treating him like he is guilty almost. Like, he, like he's but, the yeah. one doing it. Like, he believes that uh, uh, Jefferson really did do these things. Like, he's... It, it, really, him. yeah, really good scene. Um, then we find out that he's about to be transferred because the ASA needs to get him... To their facility yeah. to kill him or do experiments on him or whatever. Uh, and like while this is all happening, they're interviewing people on the street. Like, all they make this old lady super racist. <laughs> this white old lady's like, I heard that uh, that he makes his students call him Black Jesus, and like <laughs> it's like, oh my god, this lady is super racist. But uh, Which I always thought like for the actor, it's got to be like, okay, I. I'm, this is acting. Like, I do not believe in any of this. This yeah. is just words. You guys told me to ever say this. So I'm gonna do yeah. This. Like, yeah, but then I, we get like, and then they interview a couple other people. And one person's like, "It's a conspiracy." Yeah. Like they do, and then like other people like, are like, "Well, up. like he got my my sister or my daughter graduated because of him." Like I don't no. believe he would have done this. Like it's almost it was a really good scene. All of those like a montage of random oh. people talking. It was kind of like how he said. That one one question at the panel was like, "How do you keep the kids away from all of this?" And he's like, "Oh no, it's or one of them was like, yeah, it's a pretty protected type of set where it's like yeah. they do their thing and then they know it's it's just an acting, acting thing. Yeah. Like it's not real, but it's grounded in reality type thing." Let's see. Um, oh, and then so then after that, um, Gamby's trying to figure out how they can get him out of prison. And uh, he creates, like, this hologram that uh, Anissa wears while she goes out and, like, on the street. So, like, it's a couple feet away from her, and it's just him. And he literally just does what he, <laughs> she does. So, like, I think Gamby's in, a, in, the tru- in, like, a truck, and he, like, almost hits her. And she, like, goes to chase him down with Black Lightning next to her. <laughs> and, like, they, everyone, everyone's, like, on the street. So, like, everyone sees, and, like, the news picks it up. And, like, the vice principal is, like... Freaking out that they got the wrong person the, yeah. now, like because she knows who she, she knows knows Jefferson she for was a told, while. Yeah, and so she like gets on like she has to, like in, uh, encrypt her computer so that no one else could read it, but she could talk to like higher ups in the ASA like oh, she okay. did earlier. Yeah. Like this time she goes back on. She's like, "What do we do? Like Jefferson's yeah. obviously not Black Lightning." And like, <laughs> they're like, "Don't not. worry about it." <laughs> like, <laughs> but so he gets out, and Henderson actually gets the the. Two cops to confess, or one of the cops to confess to yeah, he was framing him, and then he arrests the other guy. Uh, I don't know if you saw the, it's like the shorter, bald guy with the, uh, what is he's got a mustache. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is the other guy framing him, and he arrests him, which was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it's like, yeah, I have all this dirt. Every, your buddy just ratted on you, like, <laughs> you're going to jail. Going. Like, and then the other guy's like, you have no idea what you're messing with. So <laughs> it's clearly teasing yeah. uh, a bigger. Um, yeah, and then that was that kind of finishes up that episode. Uh, there, oh, and then I didn't didn't write it down, but the him getting processed was a good scene too. Oh yeah, he was he was talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he like they like say assume the position, and he like bends over, and he's already disrobed, and like his eyes are about to go nuts, like yeah, like, like he's getting about ready to kill to, yeah. somebody, but uh, fights it back, and he's just pissed that whole time. It was. Yeah, it was a really good scene with him. 
Yeah, but next week we get uh, we got two episodes left, and next week it looks like uh, Tobias Whale and Black Lightning will go head to head again. It does they teased it? And I saw like a <laughs> uh, a, a very short clip. And yeah, I was like wow. Yeah, so that should be good. That's going to be good. And Chris Williams is a very nice man. Very very tall. <laughs> Massive fan. <laughs> <It's> huge. <laughs> All right, we got Arrow now. This week's uh, uh, title is Brothers in Arms. Uh, Oliver and Diggle face their biggest challenge yet. Uh, Curtis is disappointed to find out his new boyfriend has a firm anti-vigilante stance. Firm is an interesting... But yeah. <laughs> interesting um, yeah. IMDb is just not good with some of their s- summaries. Yeah, they, they do it like a very basic... I think you can ad- edit them, that's why. I think someone... Oh, someone goes in and changes it? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, but anyways, we start off and we find out Diaz has not only infiltrated the Star City Police, but pretty much the whole city. Yeah. Yeah. All the main uh, or higher ups and all the infrastructure of the city. Sorry, I was just looking (laughs) at the the message from. That was. That we. That uh, your phone went off. It was probably a message from Tim. Uh Oh. Tim Gavin. It's uh, pretty hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. So yes, Tim, there's your shout out there's this week. There's your shout out this week. I know, we, we know you're a couple episodes behind, so... <laughs> so you got a couple to wait for. <laughs> uh, okay, back but to Arrow. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Diaz is literally... I think we already said that, but he's literally infiltrated everything. Yeah, and this show has been doing so good, or was doing good for a couple episodes, and then I went back to... In between fighting with them, they're not even fighting the villains anymore. No, they're, they're fighting, fighting each, each other. other. And Diggle's pissed that he isn't Green Arrow, yet he can't give him a reason. <laughs> no, like he's for like, the whole episode until the like, end. I'm just mad. He's I'm like, just, why? I, I, ju- I am. Yeah, and uh, he's even confused. He's <laughs> like, thank you. Like, yes, we all are. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what's, uh, what's her what's her name? His wife. Felicity. No, his wife. Uh. uh <laughs> oh, uh, Lila. Lila. Even she's like, well, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but we did get like Curtis wanting to go to, uh, what was it, Dinah's hideout to hang out with the, yeah. the new guy he's seeing, which was pretty <laughs> funny. Um, yeah, and then uh, in between that, we get Diggle going rogue after Oliver apologizes. Right, and he yeah. accepts the apology. He's like, yeah, totally. It was fine. a good apology. And uh, he actually even later he's like, like he tells Lila he's like Oliver apologize he's like that's weird yeah, like, even she was like wow really <laughs> he's like yeah that was a good one <laughs> but uh yeah he goes rogue not listening to Oliver and uh, he does get the drug dealer to start to almost talk he's about to yeah girl yeah. that he was with just shoots <laughs> it's a John shot her <laughs> she's like oh wow okay and then she's like I'm loyal or I'm loyal to, uh, uh, to Diaz yeah I'm like okay. And then he shoots, and then Diggle shoots her. Shoots her, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, the, I did write, uh, so Diggle is now having Roy Rage after months of <laughs> using <laughs> the, the stuff. Like, out of nowhere, now, he just got super angry. Uh, I did like how they were, when they were going back and forth, they were just like bringing up stuff that they're like, oh yeah, this happened like two seasons ago. Yeah. Now I'm mad about it. I, th- I think it was like 40 minutes in, we finally he finally gets a reason why he's mad, and it's because he thinks Oliver was making all the wrong moves. And Which, I mean, you kind of guess and no. But yeah. it, you, it's but a little late thinking, to bring everything up. So there was a couple things I was thinking. The first one, this reminds me of season three, when uh, Rachel Ghoul was there, and Diggle tells him, don't. <laughs> yeah. Basically, don't do this. Yeah, and he does, and then they, they're pissed at each other for a while. And then this also, uh, like, thinking back on this season, like, all right, one of the main reasons, one of the main things he thought he got wrong was uh, investigating the team. I don't remember Diggle saying this is a bad idea, like, the whole time. Um, 
I, d- I don't remember because I probably didn't see those episodes. I don't think he did, though. But either he, either he did, but it was just like an, a one half, like, careful, man. Like, just like a <laughs> yeah, one, something small, so like, tiny, like, yeah, but he know. never objected to anything that Oliver I don't, said. I don't know, Oliver. <laughs> yeah, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, then we go back to the bunk, uh, like, the hideout for the good cops, and, uh, Curtis actually gets shot because one of the cops switched sides to Diaz and told him where they were all at. Um, and his new boyfriend finds out that that hates the vigilantes, finds out he's Mr. Terrific. No, did, did he pass out from the bullet or was he faking it to see if someone like Dinah would save him? And then I to think not find out he, that he's got I think he got knocked out because he didn't get point, point, point blank, blank in the ribs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even with a vest on, I'm vest sure. on that would or knock the wind it's out still, of you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but then he finds out he's wearing the terrific suit underneath, and that's why he survived the shot. Um, and then Diggle and Oliver make up after, again. Uh, but, like, let's settle this, all right? Let's punch each other out and take, yeah. spear each other, and then, then Felicity comes. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you doing? Both yeah. yelling at them. That what was good. Doing? Uh, I did like Diggle call it quarterback. Like yeah. I was like, all right, fine, they're good. It's like, like, okay, fine. He understands that Oliver's in charge. Like it's his call. Um, yeah, there were some good fights in the end too. Um, I liked when Oliver shot uh, right in the beginning. He shoots a couple arrows at people, but then he shoots this one, and it's I'm trying to think of like almost like a claymore or, or ball bearing yeah. type thing and it shoots out and blows up all the vertigo and oh, stuff yeah. that was a that good was one cool. um yeah and then <laughs> Diggle is mad again at the end <laughs> now, you gotta do this for yourself I gotta do this for myself yeah so he leaves and joins Argus uh with Lila and Laurel is with Diaz helping him with it, like telling giving him intel and what yeah, they like know. he has the captain and the ex DA. Right. She tells him what to do with them since he Oliver fired him. Yeah. Which uh, that was a that was a cool like, all right, you work for him, you don't work for me. And then it's like, well that backfired yeah. exponentially on him. Yeah. Um but I still think she might be good at the end of the season. Or she's she, still playing She's DS. playing playing for herself. I don't know if she's be. I think she's gonna switch sides or sh- we're just she's Playing Diaz somehow still, even though I mean I think she's she, playing both of them, her Diaz and and uh, Quinn. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think she started that way, but I think she's still at least switching sides, and we're gonna find out she's given Diaz all this intel to only later on give him some bad so intel they, yeah. so that he trusts he her. trusts her yeah. on what she's saying. Yeah. Um, next episode, I didn't. Get a preview because it was lagging so bad. <laughs> I, I watched it on the way here. So. <laughs> like the last half hour or the last 20 minutes I watched here. So I didn't get a, a preview for it. I'm sure they'll still be funny. <laughs> yeah. Or it'll just be him because it's literally him and Felicity in the bunker now. Yeah. <laughs> and then our next show is going to be Gotham. Episode, A Dark Night, Mandatory Brunch Meeting. Gordon and Bullock trying to stay one step ahead as Jerome zeroes in on his next target. Meanwhile, Nigma hosts a riddle game show in the Narrows and faces his toughest challenger in Lee Tompkins. And Penguin goes to see Butch with a proposal. See, now this summary, they nailed. <laughs> <laughs> this one sounds like it's like, okay, this is we know what's hitting, going all on. The, hitting all the parts. So, uh, so then, the, I didn't <clears> see it, but I'll... Try and read through them and let you expand. Okay. Uh, the Legion of Horribles meet for brunch. So that's Jerome, Firefly, Freeze, Scarecrow, Penguin, and Mad Hatter. Which I, I brought this up <laughs> to you the other day. I was like, "Did they? When did they switch Firefly to a girl?" <laughs> yeah. But, so that's how far I'm behind. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is good. The, I think he, he even calls them the. Uh, Legion of Horrible. He's like, Let, write that down. That's good. <laughs> that, that sounds got a nice ring to it. And then I did like he says, uh, he's like, I'm going to paint the town crazy. And it kind of reminded me of uh, uh, 89 Batman. 
a little or, bit or that you, joker. Were they literally paints? Yeah. <laughs> he like jumps back and forth between all the jokers. It was kind of cool. Um, even though he, I guess he's not going to be. Not going to be yeah. a joker. Yeah, but we, so we find out that last episode he's looking for a guy named uh, Xander Wild. Xander Cage. <laughs> Xander Cage. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Yeah, so that then it jumps over to this one. To uh, Riddle Time in the Riddle Factory. <laughs> which sounds, <laughs> sounds awesome. And Lee is taking the Riddler on to shut down his game show. Yeah, he's, game got game. Like a, he's got like an hourglass and he's got like a million dollars in cash. And he's like, if you could get the Riddler, Riddle right and then you stump me with a Riddle, you win. But if you get it wrong or you can't stump me... To spin the wheel of misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what the guy wins or loses. What uh, was the riddle? The, uh, oh, it's now. Uh, I'm heavy forwards, but I'm not backwards. A ton. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> you got it. Uh, he, yeah, the no, guy I says just... hourglass or something, and he gets it wrong. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, then Lee shows up and she's like, uh, "You got to shut this down because she's still running the nine. Yeah, uh, she's narrows. still in charge, or she's back in charge yeah. now." But uh, let's see what else. Yeah, so she takes him on, and then we don't really see. It jumps back to uh, Jerome, who it turns out Xander Wild is Jerome's twin. Yes. So is he playing his t- his own twin? Yeah, he's that playing his... his own twin. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> um. Oh, and then back to Riddler. Uh, uh, she tricks uh, Ed into giving the answer from the Riddler. That happen- that's usually how you get the Riddler. Yeah, he's like he'll he'll he, yeah, because she, she's like uh, she's like uh, he's like I forgot what his riddle was. I know the answer, but I can't remember what it was. And she's she starts talking to him. He's like, "Well, Ed's just gonna tell me the answer." And he's like, "Never." He's like, and he like goes on and on about like how she promised to fix him and she goes okay thanks uh it's promise you just told me <laughs> and uh yeah so that was pretty funny that's cool how that, they actually bring that into it yeah and then the rest of the horribles show up at jeremiah slash xander's um his assistant is a badass echo that is possibly harley quinn that's my theory i saw an article i didn't read the article but it was like Possibly Harley Quinn. And it was like the, a, the, her character, or yeah. that character. So that should be, I mean, that's my guess at least. And yeah, they're in like Jeremiah's house is like a, a labyrinth, like okay. a giant maze, and it's underground. So like they're running through him, Jordan and, or Gordon and Harvey are trying to get Jeremiah out. J's and G's. <laughs> a lot going on. While uh, he had, Jeremiah actually had caught in Jerome, but then that horrible show up to re- like get him, get out, him out and out. capture Jeremiah. So the, the other. Yeah, and Jeremiah I get, uh, ran away from home early on and made up like lies that Jerome's like lighting him on fire and trying oh, to okay. kill him. and Like all the different stories. Yeah, and turned everyone against him, so he <laughs> hates his brother now. Uh, and then Jerome sounds like he says we can all go insane with just one bad day or spray yeah he says to Jeremiah oh or spray or spray I like that they use the the, the killing one bad day yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah Billy Gavin I don't know if you're listening he texted me that he was like that was awesome <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. so then like while I was watching, I was like, alright, so Scarecrow's clearly making laughing gas right now, because he said spray. Uh, which so we find out he was making it, laughing it gas. It really was. Yeah. Uh, this one's good. There's so, uh, last episode, Harvey got uh, hypnotized by Hatter, mm-hmm. and so in this one, they're walking through the labyrinth, and Jerome's got Jeremiah ahead of them, and... Uh, Jerome sends Hatter and Scarecrow after Harvey and Gordon, and he's like, they like turn the corner and they're looking at him, and Harvey goes, "Oh hell no!" He's like, "You're not hypnotizing again," and just starts sprinting after him, and then both Scarecrow and Hatter just start running away like instantly. So, is it like the labyrinth? Since you just finished the animated series, is it like the labyrinth? Um, the Riddler. The Riddler. It's like similar. I mean, like, there's no not, like not that there's no riddles, but it's close to that. Similar, yeah. like to to like his game that he made. 
Yeah, just I mean, so it's just not, like a regular maze, though. Okay, but not it, not like that. It does involved. kind of now that you say that though. It, it, I mean, all the walls are gray and like okay, it just so, kind of even looks like it a little bit. That's cool. Um, and then Lee wins and almost gets Ed to come back by getting him to say "I love you." Yeah, that was her riddle. Was uh, what is what one does? of the three words that everyone wants to hear? There's like three different ways, and it's like, but no one ever can, or no one ever does, or something. Yeah, and it's and the answer is I love you, and uh, Riddler won't say it because like it might bring Ed back. Bring it and then Lee and Riddler make out at the end. All right. Which yeah, she's like you love me or something. But I think she's playing an angle because it just seems really <laughs> it's random. Good. Yeah, that would be a little bit out there. But I mean, the show seems to be taking some liberties. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. why not? Why not do it? Yeah, and then uh, they wrap up the episode with uh, also Penguin gets Grundy on his side and tells him that he can figure out how to save him or get him back to fix normal. Butch. Uh, or fix bring yeah, bring. Butch back completely so he's not white and smells like sewer <laughs> or swamp and uh, he's like yeah see uh, the Indian Hills barrels like those are in that swamp the slaughter swamp and uh, did they call it the slaughter swamp yeah oh. <laughs> and uh, he's like uh, Hugo Strange worked for Indian Hills he's like if anybody can fix you it's him he's like I'll find him for you <laughs> so now he joined up with Penguin and he's like come on we're friends and, and Grundy like pushed him he's like all right, I'll I'll help you because like we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> we will not be friends. Yeah, and then uh, Jerome, he brings him to Jerome actually, and <laughs> he's like, uh, "Grundy, uh, he'll help you. He'll help us out." And he's like, I "Like him? He's scary." He's like, "You need like hits him." He's like, "Oh God!" Like, <laughs> but uh, they bring in like a random businessman to test the laughing gas on, and it was pretty good. Just like laughing hysterically, and they made his mouth just get massive, and then like. Blood was coming out of his eyes. Oh, okay. It's the deadly laughing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm guessing uh, Jeremiah is going to get hit with it and become our, our Joker, our yeah. official Joker. So Jeremiah the twin, who's also played by the guy. So they're yeah. Okay. Uh, see what they're going. So next episode, Jerome is holding a crowd hostage and wants Bruce and Jeremiah to come and so he can take mm-hmm. them hostage or something. But it looks crazy. Interesting. All right. And our final show it will be Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, this episode is titled uh, Inside Voices. Coulson <laughs> is forced to team up with unlikely allies to save the world while his team try to track him down and rescue him. Uh, I watched this one this morning, actually. This uh, yeah, one. I watched this yeah, earlier. Um, I was I I was deciding after, like, which one at work did I <laughs> I finished my work. I'm like, all right, what do I need to watch? <laughs> so I, I picked Shield as like the first one. The first one. I have to watch. It. Uh, yeah, the so we get uh, Hale's got a chunk of the gravitonium, and uh, Creel actually touches it. And he sees to like absorb the the element, mm-hmm. but he sees what was the guy's name that fell into? I don't it? know. It was like the doctor, <laughs> but then we'll get to it later. I don't know if you brought it like that other scene of how when Creel after oh he, yeah, 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 yeah he's yeah. like oh you know they were telling me no he's like who's they yeah so it was the one doctor that and I remembered it, going in the the one from the beginning yeah okay yeah 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 um. Yeah, and he can't control it and, like, start seeing visions and mm-hmm. hearing voices. and Which seems to, like, stick with him, even though he doesn't... Yeah. He's, like, not in contact with it. I did, like, uh, we got... We finally get... So, last episode, we only saw Yo-Yo on the surgery table. We get to see her using her new arms, <laughs> and it's literally the Avengers opening scene yeah. <laughs> with the punching bag. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, and then Daisy's the one in charge since uh, Coulson's out missing. Yeah, what did and what did everyone keep saying? She's like, uh, she's a hard ass. Yeah, something, something like that. that. <laughs> like, like, yeah, she would really notice. That. <laughs> Literally asking everyone, like, did anyone else notice that she's been a yeah. hard ass? No. Uh, yeah, and she's got so her plan is to go get Robin while Gemma wants to let Fitz out so they can. Find the uh, old Hydra. Uh, 
the old Hydra the weapon. Weapon, yeah. Um, I did like <laughs> Gemma tells Yo Yo like I believe that we I'm, are invincible. It's yeah, like, she believes her that she's like yeah, but you didn't see yourself in the future. She's like yeah, but Deke's our proof. She's like that's our grandson. <laughs> and uh, she's like she's like oh oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fitz, thank you. It's like, he's not that bad. <laughs> it's like everyone's visceral reaction. To yeah. <laughs> um, and then Daisy goes to get Robin out of hiding in order to help find Coulson. Which they do eventually find her. Or they do pull her out of her tra- protective custody. Or Yeah. So, I mean... <clears throat> They had to bring her. I always thought she was just at the lighthouse, though, waiting. Yeah, that's. I thought that would have been the place to like bring. Yeah, because that's where. That's where she. That's where she. Uh, she's where she was when. When Fitz, Fitz yeah, was going back. Right? Yeah, unless he told what's his name to bring them somewhere else. Yeah, to like put them in another, another area or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we get uh, Creel tags Colson. Creel's the absorbing man, um, and he. <laughs> He uh, attacks him because he says a Gravitonian hates him. And then uh, Coulson kind of talks him down and tells him, like... Yeah, just go ask... Uh, her. Yes, not, not everything's like what you seem like. Don't yeah, be. he's like, what are you talking about? He's like, Talbot's a prisoner here. Yeah. Like, they're not helping him at all. He's like, no, uh, Hale said she, he's, she's fixing him. He's like, oh yeah, really? That's what, <laughs> that's what she said? Yeah. <laughs> Carl, I think is Carl. Carl, Carl. really, yeah. And then Gemma decides, Gemma forms a plan to try and get Fitz out because Mac definitely won't. She she convinces Yo-Yo to try and let Mac have get Fitz out, but he's like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> and then she just comes up with a plan. This was uh, one of my favorite parts, too, yeah. of the episode, I think. Uh, so Gemma's got four glasses, and she's going to fill three with water and one with some... Acid, it's, basically. Uh, yeah, it's like something for Yo-Yo's arms. I remember that. Oh yeah, okay. It's like uh, a like hydro a motor oil. Yeah, or it's like a like hydro that. something fluid. Or that something. would kill. It was like a sip would make you sick, and a, a glass this much of this glass will kill will you. Kill you. Um, so she pours it, she, and then she Yo-Yo drinks ma- one at a time. Yeah, yeah, Yo-Yo mixes it up. She drinks one at a time. She's like, "All right, that one was just water." And yeah. I was like, "Number two, water. number two, water." And number three, and she's like, at first, water, like, and then all of a sudden she starts coughing. She keels over and starts. It's <laughs> like, Fitz, what do I do? And he's like screaming at him. He's like, let me out of nowhere to go. And, it's like, and then as soon as he lets him out, Fitz starts running, and Yo Yo pushes Mac into the uh, she, yeah, she, lock up. She, she ships him in yeah. there. And uh, Fitz wasn't in on this. No, at all. he had no idea. So like, oh my god, you could have told me. He's like, next and time, like, give me a heads up. Even I, like, at that point, was like, oh, they were all just water. And then yeah. it actually turned out where one of them wasn't. Because she was she like, poured just the last the glass, yeah. and She, like, pours the last glass, and it is the acid or whatever, and it's just eaten away. But, uh, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> but then almost everything is undone there when uh, Yo-Yo almost shoots Fitz. And Simmons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After her whole... Oh, we're invincible. <laughs> she, <laughs> she puts the gun down and shoots in between both of them. <laughs> She's like, go, and then she, afterwards she goes to pick it up. It's like, I'll get that. I'll get that. <laughs> it's it up. Get that. Uh, and then I think it was, is it on the ship with Daisy and uh, uh, Deke? Mm-hmm. And Deke's, she's like, uh, yeah, I can't even imagine like jumping from the future to the past like that. Yeah, I have no Deke's idea like, what that would feel like. like. Thank you. It's been like a pretzel up here. It's like, with since you time traveler showed up, and Daisy looks at it was like, I was talking oh, about Robin. Right. <laughs> Which is like, I think that's like the fourth time that he's just been like, yes. So like, <laughs> yes and like, everyone's you. like, no, Everyone that's not what we're talking about. They just keep doing that to him. <laughs> they, they, they give him like one an episode. Like one instance of that an episode and it works. Yeah, that was pretty, yeah, that was a good one though. I like that. Uh, yeah, and then I also, I don't put any notes, but uh, Robin calling May mom. It was pretty, right. pretty crazy. And then I think the one scene of when she was sitting down and she's like, Mommy, come sit next to me. I think I May. Think she was I think talking May, about May. She was absolutely talking <laughs> about May. And I think May knew it. Yeah. But she wasn't going to go over especially there. Especially because the mom was like, was Yeah, right I know there. I'm going to die. Like, <laughs> she, she's like, I know I'm not in any of these pictures. Yeah. 
Um, and then last off, we got Colson trying to escape. They find Talbot and uh, kind of proves when proves uh, to Creel, Creel yeah. that they see Talbot and he's like kind of nuts <laughs> already. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but the, they're trying to escape, and uh, Coulson gets hit in the chest by one of the He gets the like LMDs. Superman punched yeah. in the chest. Like. <laughs> and dies for a second. Like, he's got no no pulse, and uh, Creel uses the, uh, was it the electric the, from the metal, the, yeah, no, the electricity. To, the, to him and saves him. And tells him, he's like, You die more than anyone I've met. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. He's like, All right, who do I got to thank for this one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then it shows them use that thing. That Hale has been using to talk to the Confederacy. Mm-hmm. I do like how he's like, let's not mess with the altitude. One. See what <laughs> yeah. happens. See, see what happens here. Uh, and then they show up in the middle of the woods, while it's snowing, and basically Robin's picture. Yeah, Robin's picture. <laughs> because I, throughout the episode, when with the picture, I'm like, what is she? Where is that? How's that gonna? I just assumed that they were gonna open like a door, and that was gonna be <laughs> where they're they're like on the mountain or whatever. That would have been. It would Fine, be cool. but, uh, yeah, but they teleported there. <laughs> yeah, so that should be interesting. Uh, I didn't see any preview for this. Though, no, for the yeah, next nor, one. nor did I. Uh, but we got a little ways to go. Yeah, so that's, those were the TV, all the shows this week. Oh, also the, I did like uh, Ruby fighting Creel. Ooh, the yeah. The was good, and she throws the She throws it? I, th- I, thought I thought either he, he would have died, or I think he turned into... The Wood. bamboo stick, so it just, or whatever it is. So that it, it was kind of up in the air. Like they if, didn't show him like keel over those. No, so they they, sh- they showed him just I like think he hard. just turned, just got enough, enough to through his chest. Yeah, which is what it seems like. Yeah. Uh, any final thoughts on any of the shows? No, just that this week I'm starting off pretty. Or sorry, next week I'll be starting off pretty good with with, Legends, with the TV already, shows. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's one last show I'll have to watch. Yeah. All right. Uh, looks like that's been our show today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tim and Tony Talk, and leave us a comment. You can also find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and tune in. Make sure to rate us. Also, you can check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tim and Tony Talk, and follow us on Twitter, at Tim and Tony Talk. Also, check out our website, timandtonytalk.com, to keep up with our blog and podcast. Remember, share this with your friends. And make sure to join us next week for more TV talk. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thanks for listening. I'm Tim. And I'm Tony. And we are the Dynamic Duo. Good Good night. Good night.